Okay, in this video I'm going to create a spinning 3D globe of the from a world map. So first thing you're going to do is file import your map that you just found straight from Google, just a flat map. And you're going to bring that in. Then you're going to drop it down into your timeline here. So you're going to have the, the image right here. And then you're going to go up here to effects and presets. And you're going to look for something called CC Sphere. You're going to take that and you're going to drop it right down onto your timeline. And it automatically makes it 3D. But in order to make it spin, we're going to go here to our effects, CC Sphere effects, and we're going to take the rotation, drop that down, and you're going to choose one of these rotations here to spin it accordingly. So I'm going to probably spin it here on the Y axis. So you're going to, from the very beginning, the time indicators at the very beginning, you're going to turn on the time clock, the stopwatch for the rotation Y. And right now you can see I'm here at 30 seconds. My timeline is at 30 seconds. So I'm going to click end on the keyboard, bring the time indicator down to the very end, and I'm going to make this thing rotate. Let's just say you can do the degrees there or the times rotation right here. So let's just say in 30 seconds I want it to rotate 20 times. I'm going to click enter and you're going to see that it automatically creates a keyframe down at the bottom. So if you go back to the beginning, click the spacebar, it will spin for you. You can get even more creative by clicking on effects and adjusting the lighting and animating all of those things, the light height, etc, etc. So let's say I want to, in 30 seconds, make it come all the way over here. So what I'm going to do is turn the line height on with the time indicator at the very beginning. I can click home to bring this all the way to the beginning. Turn the stopwatch on, line light height and then I'm going to go to the end and I'm going to move it across across there and it automatically creates a keyframe so now I'm going to do both effects and as the world spins you're going to see the light coming over so in 30 seconds time you'll see the light coming over And there you have it. You can turn a flat world map into a 3D spinning sphere and with some lighting effects.